We're going to take it steady on Conda. lines, not fast lines. It's very dry in here. I stayed in low gear near the top. Slow and steady down the uh, top half of Conda. It's gone. It's not working. Gonna take a steady, obvious reason injury. Send out a bit deeper, actually a bit faster, but I just can't commit. Oh. A rear tyre felt a bit sketchy then, like it was. Just really slipping out. I did check the air pressure before I set off. Oh. Yeah, the ground is really, it's like marbles. <sighs> These little stones. <sighs> okay. Well. I could go up and do the other airstream, uh, I'll uh, carry on. Is there a new section of trail that cuts back along there? Yeah, you'll see it on the right, further down. You'll see it signposted. Oh, okay, cool. Any yeah. Good? What's that, sorry? Is it any good? Are you on e-bikes? Yeah. Yeah, it's good on e-bikes. Nice. Just taking a bit of air out of the fork.
fork feels so much better over that. I think I just had a bit too much air in there. I feel so much better. Good. Take the steady. Right. That's nice that bit. There's some other nice bits on this section. As long as you uh, don't mind it going up as well as down, you can see how easily the weight of the bike can just that stone there then. Once it starts going, it goes. <laughs> Sometimes there's no pulling back on an e-bike like you can on an acoustic because of the weight of it. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this and then I'll, I'll get back on the road and go down to uh, Castle Valley but there's just some really nice riding to be done in here some lovely lines Beautiful, that, isn't it? Fantastic. Woo! Very dry. Fantastic. I haven't got the proper seat working now, so climbing is <laughs> knees up to the chin job. Like a climb at a circus. Uh, Tally Sin, maybe. I don't know how to pronounce that. This bit on an e-bike is a little bit slow, on an acoustic is very slow. Yeah, it picks up here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> then you're back to a bit of a Sort of a flat, rolly thing with no real descending. So the acoustic bike can feel kind of a fun ender. And I have ridden this quite a few times on the Giant Trans, so it was laborious uh, on the e bike, just pedal away. And then it's back to the fun stuff. And this takes you back to the Airstream uh, 1 and 2. So it gives you a, a chance to do that again. And some of the others. But if you wanted to, you could get off here and go back up. on down there if you want to do the full extension it's, it's like a suspension post now let's bounce up and down on it what a load of rubbish crimping don't crimp engineer properly and chuck a circlip in there that's all you got to do blinking crimping is for tins of baked beans Like 
with all my riding today, I'm riding this section quite cautiously really. I'll be slamming into stuff from literally choosing a line like an XC rider would. Just avoiding any square edge hits that might go through my wrist. Which in a way that sort of defensive riding instead of attacking. It's good to, to do that really. Longevity of bike parts. Obviously if you're racing it's not necessarily gonna win you a race or podium or whatever they call it. But keep your bike going and keep yourself going. Yeah, and I can't really pump like I normally do because, again, just the pain. I'm just using my body weight and a fore and aft like that to get the bike going again without pedaling. Gonna have to pump through the wrists and pump through the feet. All BMXers watching this. They'll be like, oh, that's the first thing we learn. <laughs> Pump through the feet. Probably took me uh, 10 years to realize that <sighs> I'm, uh, take my time learning. I, I like the journey. <laughs> that's my excuse. The thing is, it's like with my guitar playing, I've been playing for oh, 45 years, so not, I mean, I'm never going to be at any great standard when you listen to Joe Pass or Hendrix, you know, the masters, didn't they? They learned really quickly. Right, a uh, little bit of range. Not a massive, about 10 mile range in the, in the bike, in the battery. Again, rolling instead of jumping today.
just ask in here if they might have a dropper. Well, you know, I'd rather just buy the proper. And also, it's the wrong drop. It's 125, not 150. I'm only five foot seven, but I've got ridiculously long legs. But it's not so much. Okay, cheers. Bye. All in all, uh, 29 kilometers. So that's pretty good. Thank you.